What's going on, Shio? Um, just getting ready for San Jose. Say what's up to the vlog. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Big Matt King. <laughs> It's not my G. None you. I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, bro. We haven't gotten the chance to see how the layout is. We're gonna go meet up with him, and then from there we're gonna we're gonna pretty much help him tweak a couple things, and then we're gonna come back at Paradox's shop, cut a bunch of models, hopefully in time, get back to the hotel, shower, change, event. City, California, city California, city of in the city. We're not even in LA though. Right? <coughs> yes. Have you heard of uh, Brampton? Have you heard of Bangalore? Huh? Bangalore? Yeah. That's where he's from. Uh, yeah, I represent. Invaluables in your... Blessing. Uh, Bill's Cafe. Uh, you can tell this place has been around for a while. Oh, they've been around. They've been around. What? Taste test? Yes. Taste test? Taste test. <laughs> solid eight. Solid eight? eight. Yeah, solid seven. Seven? That's pretty solid. Okay, guys, so we're about to head towards Rod's place. Um, the shop's beautiful. The guy was literally in construction for almost two and a half years trying to build his shop. Um, he had to go through a lot of issues because he had to build it from scratch. They had no electrical, they had no, they pretty much had nothing in that space. So he had to build it from scratch and it took him two and a half years. Um, and you guys are going to witness what it looks like, but it's very inspiring to see someone uh, build a beautiful shop like that. Sick. I like uh, had the models like because we have double doors, 
They can like, you know, go from here all oh, around. Oh, that would actually be kind you of You know? Cool. Dang, that actually That's what sick. I was like, uh, that's what I envisioned. Just, up the, from there. Dang, that actually, actually is sick. sick. Okay, um, and then the teaching portion, where did you say you want us to be? Center stage. Like here? Yeah, because we're going to push everything aside. True, so it'll, it'll open up. Yeah. Um, I call him me at time here. Yeah, just in case. Yeah, but he's a team member too. And bring him to um, Paradox. Yeah. Are they going to be there or are they coming here and then we're going? To um, I think they're going to be there, right? Really? Yeah. So maybe we should head down there now. Okay. Right? Yeah, we can do that. Then right there. Where is going out? Oh. Are you going to cut? Potentially. Yeah. Hour to two hours. I gotta check it. There's a cool spot, right? Yeah. This is sick. Thank you. Uh -huh. I think you should do him crop mullet. That's but like that super short. Mm -hmm. Jordan, who's lined up as models. So we know that guy, but I think he mentioned another person too, or two more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. please, bro. This is nice. Yo, I'm fucking hey? amped. To Someone be say consistent. they're strapped up right now. Huh? Someone say they're strapped up right now. <laughs> Which? This one tastes. What's that? This, like, one, this one does. That one tastes good. Okay, good. to be honest, we drink this shit all the time. Where is it? You guys aren't even gonna have it. We'll get you the most wired. The yellow Red Bull is like ridiculous. This one? Oh, okay. At night. At night, yeah. At night. <laughs> so they do have the coconut stuff. The coconut. Yeah, what is it lighted? <laughs> we don't send in lights. It's, a, it's an open door. It's an open door? Tell your girlfriends I got more important shit to do. <laughs> I'll tell him. <laughs> More important shit to do. I'm seeing Alexi Michael tomorrow. You can wait.
on it. It's a fucking dress shirt. What is that? Uh, Waldo, Waldo. That's during Halloween, bro. You can't get mad at me. That's fire. What do you have? What do you have? Oh, these, these cuts are fire, though. He's nice. Flash. I want that. I love it. Yeah, She's showing you proof. I want that. You won't break my soul. You won't break my soul. It's not like a wow haircut. I think we're gonna have to really wow it with the styling, obviously. But we're gonna have to wow it with some of this, right? The taper. Regular taper wouldn't wow me, right? So unfortunately, strap in. <laughs> <laughs> what are we gonna do? Alright. Alright. Right. Slightly close. Comb through and see the difference just basically by layering it. or you know following the flat surface of the head which what was it into the neck exactly what do you guys think you guys got a you business owners actually this is a good question as business owners what steps do you take when it comes to new barbers that are building a clientele do you tell them to go out on the street and grab clients or do you kind of do they expect you to bring the clients to them like what is certain tell them but then they still expect. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's so much more to being a barber than yeah. cutting good hair. Yeah. What's something you guys want to look So uh, let's focus on consistency. You see it's light, then it's really dark, then it's light again. Hey, when you're looking at stuff like this. But uh, this stuff might be coming. Car? Oh yeah, it's nice. How long have you had it for? Like a year. Oh, okay. That's what? A good call. It's a nice looking one, Be better looking than the Tesla. The Tesla, yeah. Notice how my comb is at a 45 degree angle. You notice that? Why? 
a lot of pies like this unnecessary pressure. So this is how we're doing this. So very simply, you look at it, you, I would say it's right here, right? The curvature of the head right before it runs off. We fold that all the way. All our with the with the with the with the with the crew. The, yeah. For the last three days. Yeah. Oh, I flew this guy. Doesn't even know how to use a camera, man. <laughs> it's first time. First time. First time is always the the whole world, kind yeah. of. Like, Different techniques and like uh, how you look at haircuts and stuff. Like I'm gonna look at it differently and like learn so much. I wrote a lot of my notes, so like I'm gonna have to like go back and uh, study it because a lot is soaking. But it's definitely good. What I think the most important part was understanding all the going back to the fundamentals uh, and I, even like the cross grad. Like I know that I know I know how to do that shape. But at the same time, it's just that little simple things like, all right, I'm not elevating or I'm not over directing towards the curvature, which is super important. Usually I'm kind of like, you know, like almost like a square layer and it just, you know, it offsets the, the shape. And what I'm doing is I'm, when I'm blow drying, of course, when it's dry, I'm doing block work, cleanup work. While now I'm just like, oh man, like I get it. And understanding that it allows me to do like more, uh, less fixing the mistakes and more just, you know, just really uh, visually you can make the, the haircut even better. So. Eight year anniversary, whoa. <laughs> Eight year anniversary. Three, oh, so yours is in August as well. August 8th. There's, a, lot, there's a few shops in August. That's good luck. August yeah. Really? It first wow. opened. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you so much. Those tools to get wow. into all of Look that. Wow, like, I used to be with Josh teaching with you guys, right? And he said that he was an assistant to Josh for Paradox. And he's like, wow, like, for you to be able to headline at Paradox, like, that was a dream I had back then. And for him to say that as someone as my mentor, it means a lot, right? Like, yeah. every word that comes out of my, his mouth, like I'm writing notes on, you know what I mean? Like, that's still mm. someone I respect and, you know, I admire because I still feel like, to this day, I still feel, feel like he's the best, right? Yeah. So, um, you know, I think like, as you said, I think the one emotion I feel is gratitude. Like genuinely, it's like, thank you both of you guys for giving me this opportunity. Not only that, for you guys to give me this opportunity so I could create that opportunity for these guys, right? I'm building my team now. You guys have been in the game for years where it's like, I wanna share these experiences with my team so they feel motivated so I can keep on p passing that torch, right? That's the most important thing. Like I said it to, to the, to the look and learn, the, the most fulfillment I feel now is really really seeing success from other individuals right i feel like i'm at a point now where obviously i got so much more to grow but it's like seeing you know giving this, these experiences to my peers and you know seeing them succeed there's no better feeling like you the money will come regardless like that i'll be successful i'll make the millions but it's like being able to see success in other people there's there's no better feeling you know, if you chase what you love the money will chase you and that's what i always say you know and that's it means the world for you to say that about dylan and even you to say that about us because that's full circle, yeah, you know, really. just as much as like that was, this is your guys, what you want to do, this is what we want to do. So people talk about like ego in the industry, but it's like, what are you doing to change it? Like if you got, if you're, if you have a problem with that, then do something about it, right? You know, bring people in, leave with love, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking it's like, and then I started having barbers and you're like, yo, what the fuck? Also now Rod's cutting hair and like I took it seriously. like I, I don't just get into it for the clout or just trying to like, you know, be part of like a certain like culture, like, oh, this is a new thing. It's yeah. really more like, man, if I get into something, like, I'm 100% like dedicated. And so, yeah, like, you guys, you know, like I told you guys, I always brag about you guys because uh, at the end of the day, it's like, you guys set that for me. And so I'm always going to be forever grateful. And you guys show me love, never disrespect, and that's why. And here I am, you know, now we're doing like, you know, we did our first event together and, you know, even with you, um, and you guys are the first one to do the, our, our first, you know, hair event, like, this is memories I'm going to look back, I'm like, man, I remember 
no one was like really rocking me, you know? Yeah. And then no one was thinking like, oh dude, Rod's gonna cut hair, he's not gonna be good. Like here I am, like for you guys to, oh dude, that's that's fire. I was like, yeah, it meant a lot. So Yeah man, I love that. Okay. Thank you about that. Okay. And then we're gonna follow. So fresh here. No, it's the it's the okay, fat from the film now. Okay, so what? Okay, what's still gonna happen? Austin, I'm gonna tell you this right now. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it, right? Wait, wait. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this one time. Bon Leo to the Cherry Luge. You saw it here first, y'all. Congrats to Silver Arrow for your two-year anniversary. Woo! Or three-year, three-year, three-year three anniversary. Celebrating Silver our eight-year anniversary. Congrats to you guys. Thank you guys for coming to San Jose. Cheers. Appreciate you guys. Loved everything about it. <laughs> Oh, that was smooth. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> it's expensive yeah. cognac. Oh, better not, like Austin, you better not fuck up. Bro. No, no, no. This is expensive, bro. Oh. I'm sick. Oh, shh. Got it. All over my face. Bro, that was clean. That was clean. That was clean. Oh, that was the cleanest one. Y'all learn from me. I see my, I see I'm drowning. <laughs> <laughs> I took a fucking shower. Oh, <laughs> I'm guessing we're signing off here. You know what happens at the, this part of the video, right? Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>